Unlocking Time Travel Dive into the Past Continuous Tense Hello, Language Explorers! Welcome back to our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today we are focusing on an exciting part of English grammar, the past continuous tense. This tense helps us travel back in time, so let's start our journey. The past continuous tense, also known as the past progressive tense, is used to describe an action that was happening at a specific moment in the past. It's formed using was, were, and the ing form of the verb. For example, I was reading a book yesterday evening. There are several scenarios where the past continuous tense comes into play. 2.1. Ongoing past actions. The past continuous tense is used to indicate an action that was in progress at a specific time in the past. E.g., at 7 p.m. yesterday, I was having dinner. 2.2. Interrupted past actions. You can also use this tense to describe an action that was interrupted by another event or action. For example, I was reading a book when the phone rang. 2.3. Two simultaneous past actions. When two actions were happening at the same time in the past, the past continuous tense is your go-to tense. An example of this would be, while I was studying, my brother was watching TV. 2.4, setting the scene. Sometimes, the past continuous is used to describe the background in a story. E.g., it was raining, and the wind was howling when I arrived home. Forming the past continuous tense is pretty straightforward. Use, was, for singular subjects like, I, he, she, it, and, were, for plural subjects like, we, you, they. Then, add the verb with an ing ending. Here are a few examples. I was running, they were laughing, he was studying. Well, that wraps up our journey into the past continuous tense. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to dive into past scenarios and describe them using the past continuous. It's been great having you with us today. Keep exploring, and keep learning. Until next time.